WWE 2K22. It is a wild game, and they make some interesting decisions, let me tell you. But today on the channel, we always talk about things that you can unlock in the game, and I got a few match types for you that the game doesn't tell you that's in it. And there would be surprised of all the things you can do that the game doesn't tell you, and a few of them are things that fans have actually been requesting. And guess what? It's been in the game the entire time. So without that, without further, without words to describe my opening, thank you for joining me today. This is, of course, Beach Bites. I'm Beach Burn Bob. And let's get to all the hidden match types in WWE 2K22. Roll it. first time on the channel welcome we're talking all about match types in WWE 2k22 now there is a list a mile long what I'm going to do in today's video is give you some of the top ones that are the easiest to get and by the end of the video I'll show you exactly how to get every single one of them let's start with one that's very popular in WWE 2k19 or I thought it was popular but a lot of people didn't know it was in it but it also makes its return in 22 it was in 20, but no one played 20. And we're talking about the Scrap Trap. Hey, you know what would make your cage match way more interesting? Sheet metal on the top of it. That would make it absolutely fantastic. And in WWE 2K22, you can't have the Scrap Trap. It did make its first appearance in WWE 2K19 My Career Mode. And was a nice little subtle change to things they've done in the past. It makes its return in 22 with the Scrap Trap being an option that you can select. I'll be quite honest, after looking at it here, I think the Scrap Trap looks a lot better in 19 than it does in 22. But it all comes down to camera angles and how they did the transparency of the cages. But not only do you get the Scrap Trap, but by going through the cage match, the old blue cage from the 80s and early 90s is there, makes its return. The Black Cage from St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Fun fact, though, the, car, the Black Cage from uh, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre was just the blue cage that paint was wearing off, so they decided to spray paint the whole thing black. And I don't have fact to prove this, but if you go and watch WWE television back in the late 90s, the last cage match was between Edge and Christian at a European pay-per-view. It was a full year in between before we saw that black cage again. And the previous time we saw that black cage was also on the European tour. So my thought is, is they hauled it over the ocean and just left it there. Like I said, I have no proof to back this up, but I thought it was a fun little Easter egg. So, not only can you do this with the cage match, but you get the standard cage match, you get the blue cage, the black cage, and the scrap trap. You can set all of these up in options and create the match so that each one of these is a defaulted one. So, if you are setting up your universe when it works and you want to only have blue cage matches or a scrap trap match, it is completely possible. So, how about those famous Singapore Canes? Because we can make a Singapore Cane match in WWE 2K22. And it's actually fun. And if you do not have the Deluxe Edition with the Season Pass and you're looking for a way to unlock all those wrestlers you haven't got yet, the C Singapore Cane, or the Kendo Stick as today's generation calls it, is the perfect weapon to use to get those points all up. So here we're going to show you about the Singapore Cane match. So the Singapore Cane match has been around for a while, uh, but then they changed it to the Kendo Stick in the ECW era a little bit before the WWE's version of ECW, not the real one. But however, in this one, you can set it up by putting every weapon under the ring as a Kendo Stick. You can rename it Singapore Cane, and then when you go through, the only weapons available in this match type are Singapore Canes. I think I just like saying Singapore Cane over Kendo Stick. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you prefer Kendo Stick or Singapore Cane? So now, if you made it this part in the video, feel free to hit that like button that sends it out so more people can see it. And hit that subscribe button if you love all things WWE 2K content. And just gaming in general, Beach Bites covers everything on the channel. But now for the main event. What I thought was common knowledge I've found when I'm streaming on Twitch and they're seeing me play these match types are wondering how. 
Yes, I did cheap plug Twitch there. Links in the description below if you want to hang out with Beach Burn Bob. We record this stuff live and you can check it out every day. However, now we're going to talk about the simple fact of how do you get all of these matches plus so much more in the game. And it's a simple fact that is overlooked and an underutilized feature in WWE 2K22 based on the comments and people that I've talked to. So now I'll tell you everything you need to know on exactly how to unlock all of these wonderful features and how you can create some of the craziest matches you've ever heard of. Or actually what the game will let you create. But there's a lot. There's really a lot of things you can create in this game. So let's show you that right now. So how do you get all these matches in WWE 2K22 plus whatever other matches you guys want to make that are not in the game at default but are totally available? And for that, what we're going to is a create a match option. It is in the creation suite. And it has been in the game for several years. But what I've found is not as many people know about it. So I just want to point it out here to some of the things you can do and how it's changed in WWE 2K22. And it actually streamlines a lot better than it has in the previous games. And it works way better in universe mode than it has in previous games. The problem is that universe doesn't mode doesn't work as well as it has in previous games. So that's a real paradox, I think. But to get these creative matches, you're going to click here. And you see that there's several options that you can go through to create the matches. You can have anything from a two out of three falls only match. You can create a custom last man standing match. Elimination tags. You can create every one of these cage matches what you do is, is you go into the one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two -on -two or however you want it and you type in go to cage match and then at the bottom it will give you the option that you can switch the cage if you want just the blue cage switch it to just the blue cage if you want just a scrap trap switch it to just a scrap trap save it name it universe actually puts it in the title this year so you know when you're putting it out that oh look I'm playing this match a lot easier uh, to see and understand what you're getting and you can set up exactly how many times you want it to show up in your match if you only want a mix max challenge match you can set intergender tag matches and that makes it completely the mix max challenge if you want a show that's nothing but cage matches you can do that as well if you only want them to show up for main events or only have the title on the line you can do that one of the fun facts is, is you can do this with a hardcore match and put it on for title matches only. That way that 24-7 championship in universe actually works the way it's supposed to. And if you have the blood option on, which is in the options menu, you have to turn that on. It is set to off by default. It then gives you the ability to make the first blood match, which hasn't been seen in WWE since the Attitude Era. But it is there for you to use if you want to do it. It actually works a little bit better, so it does take longer to bust your opponent open. If you want to win by knockout, you can do that. If you want two out of three falls, it's there. If you want craziness in the elimination chamber, you can change the rules of that. At the time of this recording, there is an option to change the elimination chamber match, but it does not work. Hopefully, they will patch that in if they do. It should work pre like previous year's games where you had the old style Elimination Chamber match and the new style Elimination Chamber match. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you use Create a Match? Did you know about this feature? Because I found there's a ton of people that didn't know that it was in there. There's so many things you could do with it. Go in there, play around, make some of the craziest stuff you've ever seen before in your life. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Hit that subscribe button for everything under the gaming universe, world, masterpiece, everything that gaming has. Beach Bites covers it. There's links and descriptions below for everything that a gamer could want. And for all WW2K content, of course, we have that too. Hit that like button. It sends it out so more people can see it. With that, I'd like you to remember, make life your beach, and we'll see you on the next video.